Hi. Instead of having to look at these default paint jobs on our aircraft, FS2020 allows us to install custom looks for the aircraft called liveries. A livery is a uniform, insignia, or symbol adorning, in a non-military context, a person, an object, or a vehicle that denotes a relationship between the wearer of the livery and another individual or corporate body. In our context, it denotes the logos and insignias as well as the overall paint design of a given aircraft. Even though FS2020 has only been out for a short time, the dedicated fan base has been hard at work developing liveries for the aircraft in it. On this website called msfsaddons.org that I have linked to in the description, you can find a variety of add-ons and liveries for FS2020, both free and paid for. For this video, we'll focus on a pack of free liveries for the Airbus A320neo. As a trivial aside, NEO stands for New Engine Option, and the new engine option provided a 15 to 20% increase in fuel efficiency over the previous generation. This aircraft is actually the best-selling aircraft for airlines in the world. The one included with FS2020 is adorned with the factory default livery that is used when the aircraft is being demonstrated or shown before it has been purchased by an airline. MSFS add-ons shows where to copy the livery files, but it's not the correct location for my machine. It may have been the correct location in beta or something like that. Feel free to look on your machine and see if the folder exists in this location. If so, you can skip to location 4 minutes and 23 seconds in this video to add and test your new liveries. MSFS add-ons has this lovely set of 40 liveries, and most of them are for the A320, so you can download it by clicking on this button down here. This will take you to the mega download site. Your browser may ask you to permit the download, so go ahead and do that. In my example here, it's just downloading the file to my downloads folder on my hard drive. Once it's downloaded, open the File Explorer in Windows and go to your download folder. Once there, you should see this file. It's a RAR file, and to open it, you'll need the WinRAR utility that I've linked to in the description. It's a shareware application, so if you don't purchase it, you will be nagged about buying a license like this. Just dismiss the dialog box, and now we can see there's two folders inside of the RAR file and a README file. We only care about the two folders. Now we need to find the Community folder. In the address bar of the Explorer window, type c colon backslash users backslash and select your username from the list below here, Headbo in my case. Once that's done, press enter and go to that folder. Make sure you have view hidden items turned on. You can set that in the view tab here. If it's turned off, you won't be able to do this installation process. Double click on the App Data folder and once there, go to Local. Then inside of there, you want to go to Packages. Inside of Packages, go down to Microsoft Flight Simulator with this hash code on the end of the name. Double click and go into that folder. Inside of this folder is Local Cache, and that's where we want to go next. Once there, double click on Packages. Go into that folder, and on my system is this FS202 data folder, and that's where we go next. Inside of that, there's the FS2020 folder, so we go into that. Inside of this, we finally have our destination, the community folder. It's been quite a rabbit hole getting here. If you expect to add liveries and whatnot to FS2020 in the future, you might want to right mouse click on this folder, drag it to your desktop, and when the context menu appears, select Create Shortcuts here. And then you'll have a fast way to get back to this folder. Once we're here, we drag and drop the two folders from the Liveries RAR file that we downloaded into the Communities folder, and we're done. Now we head back into FS2020 to have a look at these. 
click on World Map, in the upper left click on the aircraft icon to select a new aircraft. And once there, we need to look at the A320. It's not under jets, it's under airliners. I'll select the A320 as my active aircraft, and then click on liveries. Now we can see the liveries that we've installed. You can still access the original factory livery as the first entry here, but you can scroll down the list here and pick whatever livery you want from the list. It makes a nice change from the default factory livery. I'm sure there will be lots more liveries coming out for FS2020 in the coming months, so you might want to keep an eye on MSFS add-ons for any new ones that pop up so you can spruce up your entire collection of aircraft. Well, that's about it. If you didn't like this video, please hit the dislike button. If you found it useful, please hit the like so I can tell if these videos are of use to you folks. So, I'll see you in the next video, and until then, take care.